In this video clip, we'll show you how to activate the alarm ribbon notification bar on the far right hand side of the screen that's located over here when you're in alarm handling mode, and then also what that function, uh, functionality will add uh, for your operators. So the first thing we need to do is go over to the supervisor's workstation to activate this alarm ribbon. So if we jump over to the supervisor's workstation, and you're going to go over to tools, options, and once you're in options, you'll expand alarm handling and go to the alarm notifications. Now you'll notice here uh, on your system, if you don't have that ribbon up, uh, this will be listed as pop-up dialog. That is the default behavior of the alarm notifications uh, that we added, I think around 160 uh, into Manitou. So you can continue to operate that way where uh, any time subsequent signals come into the system, uh, any time there is a video associated with an alarm, uh, any of those pop-up windows that you generally have when you're in an alarm handling environment can be suppressed through this new ribbon bar that we've added to the right-hand side of the screen. So by leaving it on pop-up dialog, again, it'll be the default behavior. Those pop-up messages will come up to your operator. You also have a couple of choices here when you activate that ribbon, whether or not you want to have acknowledgement as optional. And what that means is if there is a subsequent signal that comes in or there's video associated with that alarm and that pop-up window is suppressed, the operator does not have to click on the icon to go ahead and read that message uh, that's come into the system. It truly is suppressed and it truly is optional whether or not the operator views that information. The other option is to acknowledge the notification before going on to the next action pattern. So if the alarm has come into the system, your operator is already called out to the site, and then a subsequent alarm comes in for that location, uh, they will be continued, allowed to continue going through handling that alarm uh, or that particular action pattern item complete that call. But before they can go on to the next item, which might be to dispatch the police, they will need to acknowledge any flashing icons that are over there on that ribbon bar. And the last item is to acknowledge the notifications before closing out the alarm. So that would allow the operator to go through every one of the action pattern items, uh, but before they can actually finish and close the alarm, they would need to go over there and acknowledge any of the flashing icons in the ribbon bar uh, so that they can see all of that information uh, before closing out and finalizing that alarm. So we'll go ahead and keep this here on my demo system listed as acknowledgement as optional and we'll show you what it looks like on the front side. So on the alarm side what we'll do is we'll go ahead and generate a manual signal here for one of our accounts and in this case we'll just go ahead and uh, generate a burg alarm on area one zone one and send in that signal and we'll go ahead and pull that alarm up now you'll notice when the alarm first comes into the system that we've got the customer information here, the dealer information, and then below that the alarm specific information. We can see that it's a burglary alarm, area one, zone one, front door. What you don't see is the fact that the multimedia is available pop-up window uh, has been suppressed by the alarm ribbon. So you can see the yellow flashing icon over here on the right hand side that's letting us know that there is a media clip available. Any one of those icons uh, to view what that icon stands for, you can go ahead and just hold your cursor over that and the tooltip will appear so that you can see those items that are being suppressed. So again, in this particular case here, we have that media clip available and we can go ahead and click on that and it will bring up that pop-up window and then connect us directly to that video piece so that we can see uh, what's going on out at the customer site. Now, if we were to send in a subsequent alarm or receive a subsequent alarm for this particular account, and I just went ahead and tripped another alarm for this customer, we'll go ahead and jump back to the alarm screen here, and you'll see now that the media clip is green, letting us know that we've uh, completed that item from an acknowledgement standpoint, and we now have a new flashing icon over here, which is letting us know that a new alarm or signal has arrived for this customer. So we did receive a subsequent uh, burglary alarm for this account. 
So it looks like this intruder came in through the front door and went out through the west exit. And again, uh, all we've done by uh, blinking the notification over here on the ribbon is suppressed this pop-up from coming up to the operator while they're handling the alarm.